Now, this phrase, filled with the Spirit, is one of the better-known phrases to be associated with the Holy Spirit in the New Testament. There are many phrases associated with his work. It talks about receiving the Holy Spirit. The Bible talks about baptism with the Holy Spirit. It talks about sealing with the Holy Spirit. All of those refer to a one-time event where the Holy Spirit is received. He baptizes us into Christ. We are sealed by the Holy Spirit. Those are not repeatable things. But when it talks about the fullness of the Holy Spirit, although it does also include a beginning, and there are moments when somebody is filled with the Holy Spirit as a single event and experience. It is also, and more importantly so, it is an ongoing relationship with the Holy Spirit. In fact, this verse should literally be translated in the present continuous tense. Instead of be filled, it's legitimate to translate it, be being filled or go on being filled with the Spirit as an ongoing day-by-day relationship with him. Now, let me just talk about this phrase, to be filled with the Spirit or to be full of the Spirit. It occurs 14 times altogether in the New Testament, and this is the only occasion Paul ever talks about being filled with the Spirit. There's one occasion here in Ephesians 5 and verse 18. The other 13 occasions in the New Testament are all written by Luke. Luke wrote the Gospel of Luke, and then he wrote his second volume, what we call the Book of Acts. And in the Gospel of Luke, he talks four times about people being filled with the Spirit. John the Baptist, his mother Elizabeth, his father Zechariah, and then Jesus, after his baptism, as he went into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil for 40 days, it says Jesus, full of the Spirit, was led into the wilderness. So those are the four occasions that Luke uses this phrase. After Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit is poured out and marks the birth of the church and he is made available to all people, this term occurs nine times. But the phrase is never given a definition in the New Testament. It doesn't say this is what it means. And so we have to work out its definition by observation of what happens when people are described as being filled or full of the Holy Spirit. And I want to give you Uh, four contexts in which this phrase is used. It's an event on some occasions that happens. They were filled there and then, and we saw the difference. It was a condition on other occasions. This is the way they are, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, January, June, August, December. It doesn't matter when you meet them. They are full. And it is an equipping where faced with a particular challenge They throw themselves on God, and there is this particular filling. We might even call it an anointing, an empowering that is particular for that event and that occasion where this phrase is used. There's only one more occasion when this term is used. It's here in Ephesians chapter 5. And if it was an event or a condition or an equipping in the book of Acts, it is a command here in Ephesians 5. It is a command, as I said, in the present continuous tense, to be being filled, to go on being filled with the Spirit. Now listen, when God states something as a promise, God is responsible to fulfill it. When God issues something as a command, we are responsible to fill it. We receive him on the basis of repentance towards God, turning from sin, and faith in Christ, trust in Christ, that's how we live. We go on living every day with that attitude, 